Tatooine has two suns, so shouldn't everything on Tatooine have two shadows? To start, I thought it would be good to get some base parameters. In order to see how far apart the shadows should be, we need to know the difference in angle between the suns and the sky. The most iconic image of Tatooine's twin suns comes from this scene, which also happens to be a completely in-camera effect. That is, both suns are the same sun filmed setting at different times and overlaid to create one image. It was shot in Tunisia on March 29th, 1976, but I wanted to know exactly what time it was shot so we could precisely measure the angle between the two sun positions. So I punched all the relevant data for the filming location of the Lars homestead into a sunlight simulation. Here I mocked up some rough geometry of the homestead in exactly the right places at 33 degrees 50 minutes and 24 seconds north and 7 degrees 46 minutes and 44 seconds east. The correct sun positions were found to be at roughly 640 and 643 p.m. The sun moves at about 0.5 0.25 degrees per minute, so the difference between the positions 3 minutes apart is about 0.75 degrees. Anyway, let's get some more data. What's another good shot of the Tatooine sun setting? Now this is really interesting. The suns are in different positions. The answer that makes the most sense to me is that the Lars homestead is in Tatooine's northern hemisphere and Jabba's palace is in the southern hemisphere. However, that completely invalidates this otherwise cool map from the Complete Locations book. But it already has its problems. Old Ben lives out beyond the Dune Sea. Between Luke and Obi-Wan is the Junlin Wastes, not the Dune Sea. I'm going to assume that Luke knows a lot more about Tatooine geography than the illustrator of this map. Luke's word is more reliable in this case, so I'm not going to hold this map in very high regard. If the Lars homestead is in the Northern Hemisphere and Jabba's palace is in the Southern Hemisphere, the sun setting at different angles makes perfect sense. There's roughly 80 degrees of difference between the orientation at Jabba's palace and the orientation at the Lars homestead. If we assume that these two locations are about 80 degrees apart on the globe, then this is exactly what we would see. This can also partially or largely be explained if Tatooine has a significant axial tilt, which would change the angle of the suns in the sky in a more or less seasonal way. The extra spacing between the suns also makes sense, understanding that Tattoo 1 and Tattoo 2, the suns of Tatooine, orbit one another as all binary stars should. This way, the spacing of the suns would be predictable in some regular way. Their positions in the sky would look something like this as viewed from the Lars homestead over the year. Of course, we have some other issues here. In this shot, the suns are setting about four times faster than in this shot. Since posting this video originally, I did get a few comments informing me that sunset is actually shorter the nearer you are to the equator, because the sun sets more perpendicularly to the horizon and thus lingers in the sky for a shorter period of time compared to a more angled descent. And it is true that the period that we call sunset would be shorter in those conditions, but the actual speed of the sun in the sky is unchanged, so that doesn't really explain what's happening here on screen. But there probably are a number of obscure factors that could cause this, depending on exactly how Tatooine works and how it moves in relation to its stars, so I'm still open to suggestions on that one. And now we can finally talk about shadows. The simple answer is that most of the time, objects on Tatooine would cast two shadows and when the suns passed in front of one another, it would get darker and we would see a single shadow. So indeed, the existence of two distinct shadows would actually be noticeable on a real Tatooine most of the time, which we don't see in the films, but I think we can forgive them for having to film these scenes on Earth. Now there's one more thing that needs to be discussed. See, so far I've been suggesting that the differing angles are based on the latitude or axial tilt, but these explanations are insufficient if we're dead set on keeping all of the Tatooine locations close to each other, as I must begrudgingly admit they seem to be in the lore. So a way to do that would be to suggest that the planetary disk of the Tatooine system is not aligned with the orbital plane of its binary stars. So that means from the same point on the planet we would see a multitude of different sun positions as the suns orbit one another and Tatooine orbits its suns. Things get way more complicated in this model, but hopefully this makes a little bit of sense. 
Interestingly, there have been astronomical findings that suggest there's a widespread correlation between the orbital period of binary stars, that is how long they take to orbit each other, compared to how far off the orbital plane their planetary disk is aligned. Binary stars that take a long time to orbit each other predictably have these sorts of weirdly tilted planetary planes, and the reason for this is not well understood, but it is physically conceivable that the Tatooine system could actually have this kind of structure, even if true planets might be rare in these circumstances. I went into this video just thinking that I would illustrate how much angle we should see between the shadows, but turns out this is actually a really fascinating topic. What are your thoughts? Do you have alternate models or ways to improve the ones I proposed? Let me know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.